Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. It was crack a lack of people with Mr. S. D. D. Warmack officially in the fucking building. I'm about to give you another, this is a real life video, and this is one which a lot of people, especially if you like deep conversations and debates, this is what we, a lot of us hate. And I hate, I want to talk about who emotional thinkers versus critical thinking. Now, I'm, I'm in debate groups, you know, discussion groups, and I've noticed that most, a lot, most of these groups, men or women, both do it. There's a clear majority who use emotional thinking over critical thinking. I think I discussed this in another video. I kind of lightly talked about it and we'll talk about it here. Uh, and they are the people who, who don't like facts and truth to get in the way with what they're saying. Uh, and these are the people also who come up with, with, like, with stupid conclusions, who come up with like facts that you've known about, but it's new to them. You know, these are the people who will say you're debating, uh, I'll use, I'm black, and I have to use black as an example. Now, say you can, you can have a debate on anything, and there are just some black people who reject race inside that topic. Right, wrong, and different. That's how it is. That's how that I know the deal. We can have a, we can have a debate group. There's a debate group we're in right now, and it's a, it's a, you can talk about anything. We talk, I mean, the thing in there is uh, like homosexuality or any sexual considered demon lifestyle is talked about the most. The, the degree of your blackness, stuff like this. It's, it's real emotional points that are talked about. I understand that, but whenever you start talking about things like politics, things about caring about your neighborhood, stuff like that. Shit like that goes straight to the toilet because these emotional thinkers refuse to own up to the responsibilities which a, which a lot of people and myself talk about. Like this is like, first of all, I, we make, I make a comment that black people are communists and let me tell you why black people are communists. If you look at some of the posting, they're mad that celebrities aren't paying for a lot of stuff and I'm like, first and foremost, how many people who have won the lottery that are still living in the hood who moved out of the hood, how many of them have gave back? Now there's a lot, a lot of winners who hit three digits and even some upper over 52 digit numbers in the, in the, in the millions in the lotto and they have never gave back to the neighborhood and you don't, you don't get on their ass, but you don't get on, like, I don't agree with Oprah or any of what she, or a lot of what she says, but I don't agree that she should be funding your ass. You know, I don't think that Jay Z, Fifty Cent, Dr. Dre have a fiduciary responsibility. And, and, and here's 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 the cop out, and here's the emotional, stupid argument they want to bring to me. Well, we buy their music. First of all, let me give you two points. Number one, you fucking bootleg their shit. So you, you don't don't get mad at me. Second of all, you chose to buy that music. If you didn't like their music, you should not have bought it. You can't buy their CD. Then all of a sudden come back and say, well, we like that in here. That ain't gonna work. Now, the critical thinkers in the group, like, 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 like I'm gonna be honest with you, I set up with all these emotional thinkers. I was, like, if we discuss something, I'll talk about it. Then I'll get a bunch of emotional thinkers in. And here's something you should know about emotional thinkers. They'll start name calling whenever they just fly out, they know they're busted or they just get mad because you, you just busted their whole reality. You know, or what they'll do is they'll they'll get they'll call your names when they can't compete with your facts. They'll um hold on a minute, I gotta do something. Alright, back to the lecture. Hey. I'm talking about these critics. What they'll do is, and they think, like, are these black and browns? And I haven't seen the Asian debates, but I know Asians and they do debate, but I, I stick with what I know. A lot of, if you go to black debate groups, a lot of these black folks want you to hold the party line. They want you to, like, someone wants to blame everything on white people. 
I'm like, eight million years of slavery has brought has made you come to this. I can't blame I can't blame white people if you want to stand on welfare for like five generations when there's jobs out there. Look, I live in the city, Columbus, Ohio. When I first moved here, they had six sections. Well, I mean sections, I don't mean six pages. I mean, you know how they have A, B, C, D in, on the paper? They had six sections, four at the least, of at least 10 to 15, to 10 to 20 pages that were job related. And the people who know, know. People who moved here have known this. This city still has a decent amount of jobs, not like it used to because a lot of foreigners are killing it. You know how that goes, but. I tell people in this city, if you couldn't find a job in Columbus back then, it wasn't because there were no jobs, it's because you were fucking lazy. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from out of town, I'm from here, I like it here, and I've been killing it as far as a job. I, when I first moved here, I could have a job like that, and I, I, as a matter of fact, I did. I applied, they called me the next day, and like, no, no, was it? They called me the next, no, they called me the second day. When can I start? I had to, like I said, I had to move from Pennsylvania to here. And like I said, I'm situated, you know, but now I'm good. I, I like it here. But these critical thinkers will say, well, they don't harm me because I'm black. No, I mean, not, not, not critical thinkers, they're emotional thinkers. Well, they won't harm me because I'm black. Well, what's your, then a guy like me is like, well, uh, what's your record look like? Well, I got a robbery, an assault, a rape, an Ohio, a fine, and I'm going to court tomorrow. Really? And you wonder why they won't hire you? Or what they do is they'll, they'll make up, like I said, here's another one of these little emotional things. They'll make up asinine points. Like I said, I, I, I put up a video about most death I got from Fearless. I put up, the, I didn't put his video, I put the link to where he got it from. And when I read the article, and I was like, the dude can't come back to America until he straightens out X, Y, Z. What are you talking about? You know, all these, a lot of these, Step and fetches were telling, telling me instead of making a point as to why he should be coming back to America, which you want him, you want to do. I want to do to be in America. He's an American citizen, but you know the background. Most deaf, I apparently gave up his citizenship when he moved to South Africa. He tried to come back to the United States, and they were like, "We ain't getting in." Now I want him to tell he's an actor. He should come back, but if he didn't have to, if you, if it goes to show you, if you, if you kill your citizenship, make sure you have the proper paperwork to come back in. Now, back to lecture hand. When I was dealing with these step and fetches and these coons and buffoons and all these simps, what they were saying was, you know what their, their comment was to me? Well, how do you know that picture is of him? Of uh, him getting the order? Well, do you do know that picture is from his documentary? And I'm like, you guys are fucking serious. A man can't get in the country and you're, wrong, you're talking about a, a, a picture is wrong? It don't matter that the whole article is factual. What matters is, well, you do, how do you know that picture is the right picture? And that's why, and that's, that's why I say a lot of things I say, people get mad. Like, the other, this one video, I know this one discussion we had, uh, we were talking about how, so like I said, I'm talking about how Jay-Z celebrities all and don't give back to the poem out that they want. So I called, I said, look, black, I said, black people, no, I don't know, now, now here, I'm going to make another point down the road, but I'm going to talk about, I said, black people are, are, are some of the biggest communists that you'll ever meet because they want you to give your shit up for the greater good of the people. And this one guy goes, well, you need to look up communism. He was like, you know, you need to look up communism because that's the definition of communism. And then he said, well, capitalism has killed more. I said, I never said nothing about capitalism not killing more people. I'm saying you people are fucking communists. You couldn't get me at that. And then he, and, and then uh, they were like, well, why shouldn't they give them money? They, they, they got it. So what? How many of you donated your money? And this, this is why I can't stand this whenever y'all do this. So, look, man, look and look at videos of critical thinking and investors of critical thinking because right now it's. I want to make this say this, and you can get mad if you want. If black people were ever get control of the government, the first people to get killed were smart black people. So I'm out of here. Peace.